Hello, welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. It's Master BA90 here talking about tonight's show. Real, very big show tonight. Um, Alberto Del Rio came out talking about Edge. Well, kind of respecting him, but since Edge is going to give up the title anyway, he believes he should get the title. Just give it to him. Until Teddy Long comes out and says, You're the number one contender and you will fight Extreme Rules, but it will be a 20 man battle royale. The person that faces Alberto Del Rio tonight. Should I mean on at Extreme Rules? So that was gonna happen. Kofi Kingston went against Ezekiel Jackson. That's going cause on commentary. Um, Ezekiel Jackson threw Kofi into the core. Kofi was about to get the SOS, but Wade Barrett distracted the ref and um, Ezekiel Jackson hit that year and and got on the mic saying he will win and kind of the next World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Uh, then we had the couple stare to you, Michelle McCool and Layla. Layla sounds kind of crazy, if you ask me. Talk about where you should be, whether a team like them or Louise, but yeah, Michelle, every Michelle, like, yeah, I don't think that's kind of working out. Cody Rhodes came out, talking about wasn't enough for that win at WrestleMania he had against Mysterio. They said the World Heavyweight title would gain him a lot when he wins the Battle Royale and Extreme Rules. Mysterio came out there, beat the crap out of six and had him in the stomach, so that's pretty much it. Then um Mysterio against Drew McIntyre. Mysterio won the six won the match six one nine very great match if you ask me with him and Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre needs to meet win some more matches and I believe he should have been part of right, uh, part of WrestleMania for Drew McIntyre. Uh, another thing to add on, it kind of went through Edge's career, and Edge shook hands in the bathroom, Kane, the Chavo, to everybody, and he made that final appearance on SmackDown. Talked about the history of himself, how in Albany, New York, he got the title, introduced his mom, through all the injuries from his neck, the Achilles tendon, and many injuries, because you see it most of the time in the years, Edge's been out of company a lot, but he always returns. And, um, he just went back and did this, just did his entrance one more time, because he felt like it didn't come out right at first. And he just had to do it one more time, and he thanked the fans for the many years he was here. And, I don't want to see Edge go, but it was just one more good time just to see this. Right, right in the air, man. I know there's not enough room to do it on the screen, but I say it's one big thing Edge does, but after what I've read and how one more match he did, we need to leave him paralyzed or dead in the past 13, 14 years in WWE, I believe. He's made a very great career, and he will be missed in the WWE and on SmackDown. I just didn't think it was getting like this, but you just don't have a choice, and... He had to surrender that World Heavyweight title, man. So, it was... Edge ended it off on a great note. I was going to say that. He ended it off on a very great note. Uh, other stuff that happened on SmackDown. Well, he was shaking more hands. He didn't shake Alberto Del Rio's hands. And he just walked off because he did that wink. Layla went against... Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly won. Michelle threw Layla back in the ring. Well, Layla was distracted and just... Layla pushed... Well, Michelle McCool... Push Layla on the ground after the match, where she needs to win some matches. Well, because Michelle Aaron all has she had that injury then, but she's that's uh, clear now. Everybody's still talking the Undertaker versus Triple H. Triple H just needs to come back and try to get the belts on my head. Well, I want the Undertaker to come back. So that the end of 20 man battle royale, real big, big names in there. Big Show, Kane, Mysterio, Christian, The Core, a lot of big names. The match was gone. Big Show remained himself with Ezekiel Jackson. Ezekiel Jackson, Big Show was dominating in there. Then Kane was dominating, taking down um, Morris Clay, and like, well, he took down two members of the no, Big Show took down two members of the core before he got eliminated. And um, uh, excuse me, Rolls got in there, Mysterio, and had Mysterio eliminated like three people, and uh, it was a real big match. Then it came out to the final four, and it would. Justin Gabriel surprisingly eliminated Wade Bart when the match came because he got eliminated from the core. It was the final four. Christian, Mysterio, Swagger, and Gabriel. Mysterio took out Swagger. Mysterio's... I thought Mysterio was going to win the match with the Battle Royale, but we well, was going for a 6-1 out on 
Jack Swagger, Michael Cole sacrificed himself to get six on that. I guess that was returning the favor. And um, Mysterio kind of got eliminated in by Swagger. Tried to do that uh, move, but um, wasn't going to work. Like, But um, and Mysterio got eliminated. Then came with Christian and um, Christian and uh, Jack Swagger. The thing was going. Alberto Del Rio got involved and grabbed Christian's leg. But uh, Christian was able to kick him off and eliminate Jack Swagger. And Christian will be going to Stream Rules versus Alberto Del Rio in a ladders match. Edge came out and just hugged uh, Christian inside. This was a very great smack. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I don't really care who thinks it was just the final time we could see Edge ever again in the WWE ring. I don't know if he'll come back more times. The only thing maybe we let to do is put him in the Hall of Fame or something. Must be a nice sign out.